Hey, what's going on? It's V from V11 Tarot. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for another pick a card reading. This one is on your person's, what are their actions? What actions would they take towards you? So if you're um, new, please subscribe. If not, thank you for returning. I love to post pick a cards often, so hope you can check out my pick a cards playlist and hit the notification bell after you subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on my future uploads. So let's get into this part one. We have the mica, mica crystal here. I'm sorry, mica, mica stone, mica rock here. We have, part two, we have this geode. And part number three, you have this amethyst cluster. Which one really pulls you in? Go with the intuition first. And then your eyes for the second option. Timestamps are always below if you want to skip and check out the, the piles via the timestamps. Um, go for it. And if you want to watch the full video, that's awesome. Go for it. I'll see you over in the piles. Don't forget to pause the video if you need to. Also, thank you for interacting in the comments. I love hearing from you. I'll see you in the pile one. You're first. I'll see you in the piles. Pile one, you're first. So, lots to say. Lots to say. Okay. <clears throat> pile one, you chose the mica stone. We actually found mica not too far from us. So beautiful. So shimmery. So, um, let me know why you chose this pile. Thank you so much for doing so. And... If you are interested in um, chatting with us in the comments, please do. I'll keep you in mind for future readings. So, pal number one. What are your person's actions towards you? What are the next next action? Like, if you guys are crushing on each other, you guys are talking, what's, what's the next step? Will they approach you? Will they ghost you? Will they go back? backtrack and act like they don't care about you, act like they didn't say those complimentary things to you, will they ask you out, will they ask you to marry them, like what, what, what's, let's, let's see what's going to happen here, pal one, think of yourself, think of your person while they shuffle, pal one, what are your person's next actions towards you, what's, what are they going to do next? Whoever you're thinking about, whoever you're involved with, what are their next next action? Pow one. What are their next actions? You have five of pentacles. Pow one. Please tell me to clarify the five of pentacles. What are their next actions towards you? What are their next action towards you? What is their next action towards you? Pow one. What do they intend to do with you? Pow one. King of swords. Justice, King of Cups. Oh, you got two kings in the mix. All right, and got some healing here. All right, my friend. So for you, um, for I'm sorry for your situation here. I feel like your person wants to have a deep conversation, a heart to heart conversation. I think that this person also wants to pick your brains and see how you feel on the matter. See where your feelings lie if you feel the same way that they do this person also wants oh that's interesting wants balance justice something's on their minds and, and they're not sure how sure how to approach it or i'm sorry they don't know how to address it or how to approach you like um maybe feeling like okay let me get to the bottom of this i need clarity because i can't go forward not knowing what's what, not knowing if you like me back, not knowing if you would say yes if I were to ask you out or ask you for your hand in marriage, whatever. Um, things are unclear, and so I can see them really wanting to reach out and have a full-blown conversation with you. Um, and you have the, the, I'm sorry, you have the temperance with the star, and it looks like they're doing the same thing. And the temperance, uh, right at the right, right away, you see the temperance. She's exchanged. She's put. She's um, sustaining the balance between. So what she's doing is she's in moderation, trying to balance things out, harmonize. Uh, you know, um, 
there's a little bit of magic and alchemy going on in that Rider right Waite Temperance uh, card. And that's what she's doing here, but this is the star. And then you have the, ju the justice here, um, which is making me feel like there's also the temperance energy with this justice card. It's funny. Justice and the star is bringing me harmony, balance, coming together, um, temperance. I don't know why she keeps coming out. I got that with this card, and I didn't even look at this, this word just yet. Or I think I did, but I just I forgot that it was here. So with the star and the justice, I feel like this person really wants to come together. This person wants answers. This person wants to make things right. Yeah, justice. This person wants to uh, transmute the energy and make it into something more pleasant. Because look, they have the five of pentacles, and this tells me that they're, they're going through a challenge. They're going through some kind of setback. Uh, I think it's a mental set setback, like not knowing what direction to take this connection, to take your connection, not knowing what to do with their feelings, not knowing... You see, you got the heart in one hand, and then you have energy in the other hand. So trying to transmute that energy, trying to make something out of what they feel or make something out of this connection that you both share. I think this person wants to favor um, pouring into their heart space. You got pouring into the water right here, star, into the pond. Wanting to nourish their heart space, you got the heart. That's interesting. If you look at this carefully, you have the scales. On the left side, you have the swords, thinking. On the right side, you have the heart, and that's where the heart is. Heart, cup, king of cups. You have the energy here for the swords. So she's like, bloop, bloop. She's trying to uh, keep the peace, and, and, you know, this person could be conflicted, you know, conflicted in the heart space, but then it's like overruling, ru overriding their thought space, their thinking. Like wanting to be with you, wanting to approach you, but then something stops them. It's like a mental isolate, like they're mentally isolated. I'm surprised the Eight of Swords is not here. Um, and and it, it could also be that they're trying to keep the peace between you and another person. Maybe they are also like, um, you know, interested in someone else. Or maybe they're dating or married to someone else. And they're trying to figure out what the freak do I do. I have feelings for this person. And I'm also having feelings for this person and I have a past with this person. Ah, um, that can be one scenario. Again, pouring two different cups. It's like this person probably feels um, spread thin, you know, uh, like a yo-yo, feeling tugged, like, like a tug in this direction, tugged in this direction, or their attention is needed in different directions and they, they don't know how to go about it. They're, they're, yeah, king of swords. They're going to need some good thinking, thinking, um, moments like they're gonna really have to meditate and then once they do once they find their balance their equilibrium their uh, mojo their groove they're gonna take action so they are going to approach you and I feel like you are going to either have clarity with or without this person so in, in other words you're going to know if this person wants to take it further or you're going to know if this person wants to take a pause or maybe go backwards and not take it further with you. But either way, you're going to find closure around this because you're not going to be left hanging. That's not the type of energy you're in. You're like, no, I want answers. I want to know what's up, what's down, what's around, what's in the water, what's above the boat. I want to know everything. What are you feeling? Be, 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 be up front with me. Like you're, after a point, you, you, you're like tired of just being in limbo. You're not here to be in limbo waiting for the, the, sh the, the shoe to drop. You're here to know what direction to take your horse in. And that's what you're stepping into, that energy. All right, so let's see. You know, I do want to clarify why this uh, Five of Swords, I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles is here. That is conflicting, uh, not conflicting, it's more like... Um, uh, unclear or it's it's not conflicting it's more like yeah it's con conflicting this you got star but then you have the five pentacles alongside so alongside the king you got the f hardship here alongside this king you got some good energy so I want to know why this is here and why it's a conflict 
why there is a little hiccup here by the king of swords and keep in mind you do have two majors and you do have two kings no three majors no two i'm sorry two two majors two kings and uh another royalty a court card here another one so okay hold on five, why, five, why is the five of pentacles here for power one's person's energy please help me clarify the five of pentacles please help me why is this here sudden wealth okay what the freak what the freak and concern all right my friend then you got gift expectation and then you got more concern all right <clears throat> so what this is telling me is that you have five pentacles clarified by the wealth card so they want to get lucky they want they want to restore balance in their heart in this connection they're like man we're getting over a tough pickle we're over we're on a uh, on we're yeah in a rough patch but i want to get lucky i want to win i want this to be right i want justice so I gotta know, I gotta know. And your person's like, I gotta know, I gotta know what, what way we should take this connection. So I'm going to sort things out mentally, bring bring it all to conclusion, bring it all together, get everything going in my heart space, make sure my heart matches my thoughts, <laughs> make sense of everything, and then I'm gonna take action. So um, sudden wealth, yeah, they, they yeah. They're like, man, I gotta, I gotta fi fix this. You got poverty, see what I'm saying? This is different. This is not different. This is very up and down. So I feel, to be honest, this is just crazy. Okay, I feel that this is two different... No, not two different people. This is two different emotions. And I feel like there's two different people here. Um, no, I'm sorry. Three people, but one person feeling energies for two different people. So third party situation, if you will. Yeah, because you have the five of pentacles and you got poverty, right? So that's matching that. But then you also have the sudden wealth and gift. So this tells me this person wants to give their energy, their time, their love to someone. But they don't know who to. And it could be that maybe they're not in a third party, but they're just dating around. And they're like, their eggs are in different baskets. And they're like... Man, who do I feel strongly about? Okay, now I'm in a pickle. Who do I want to give my love to? Who do I want to give um, my full cup of love to? My, my energy and time, undivided attention to? Who? You know? They're, yeah, they're going through it. That's, isn't that interesting? We have the Five of Pentacles and we're with, clarifying it with the poverty card. So, give sudden wealth. So, they definitely want to get lucky. They want things to work in their favor. They want to feel like they want a pot of gold, whatever, lucky charms, and then they want to give that energy right back to their person. But it's going to be one person, and you have star 17 twice. And then 11, justice, you know, judgment day, um, like, yeah, an awakening, some kind of aha moment your person's going to have. Concerning, you got concerned twice. So like I said, five of pentacles with the king of swords, there's some kind of like, mental uh hiccup here like oh man i have to make a choice what the freak that's what this is this is you got tools of everything just keep that in mind tools of everything so poverty twice kings twice you got the money cards twice these two you got um concern message of concern twice and you're waiting Knight of Wands, he looks like he's waiting to take action. So that's what's happening here. Once she finds out what she wants to do, she's going to go for it. So there might be two other parties here besides your person. So besides your person, it might be you and someone else. And so your person is like really feeling conflicted. Like, what the freak do I do? How did I get in this situation? How did I get here? Okay, let me let me pull some love cards now. Pile one, let's see. So they are going to take action, they just don't know which path to take action on. Your, do, I take, do I take your street or do I take the other person's street? Do I go back where I came from? Do I assess some more? Do I think about it some more? Do I, yeah, do I worry about it some more? Oh, you and you got King of Swords, right? 
Message of concern, concern, king of swords. You got that three times. So a lot of contemplation is here. So, you know, you might end up waiting a little longer. The waiting game is now here. Yeah, expectation. Yeah. Tell me more about this person. How they... What are their next steps towards you since they're so conflicted? What are the next steps? Let's clarify. You have single... What are the next steps towards you? Hot and cold. Okay, see, that makes sense. Pins and needles. What are the next steps towards you, pal? Number one. Intimacy. What are the next steps towards you, pal? Number one. What are the next steps towards you, pal? One. Crazy sexy love. Karmic love. All right. Waiting. See, this is what I'm saying. Waiting for tonight. Oh, when you would be here in my arms. Waiting for tonight. Oh. Okay, I can't sing. That doesn't stop me. All right, so you, um, I feel you might have to wait a little bit longer. See, I'm telling you, expectation, waiting, the night of, not of wands. He's not, there's no movement here. It's just waiting. Like, okay, do I go this way? Do I not? So I feel like your person, yeah, is on pins and needles. Yep, it's getting hot in here. Let's take off all the clothes. No, let me stop. It's getting hot in the kitchen. Let me escape because this is too much for me to handle. You got a lot of fire. Um, karmic love, this can, I don't know. This tells me this is like something that keeps repeating or you guys have some kind of karmic cycle here that you guys have to complete or end or fix or just stay away from. Uh, close out the karmic cycles, completing it. Um, however, you can do that. There's, there are YouTube videos on how to, you know, how to work through your shadows in your kar karmic relationships, like how to really make sense of it all, how to heal. So, um, you single. So, look, escape with single. And I did get divorced love. So, your person, yeah, look, we got union here. So I, I did get divorced love, divorced love, but I put it back. Um, so I don't know what the heck. Oh wait, look, check this out. Rest required. See, look at that. Rest required with intimacy. Two bed things here. So your person probably just wants fun with one person, but then they probably want something more with the other person. Because I did get the union card, and I did get divorced. So union with someone, but divorcing the other. And if it's not a, a legal divorce, it's more like a separation. Single. Um, let's see what other messages want to come through. So your person, it needs to just go through their stuff. They need to figure out what the heck they want to do. And you need to just focus on you. Focus on your heart. Do what, what you have to do for yourself. Don't wait, don't wait forever for this person to make a decision. Don't, this is like, yeah, waiting. Expectation. Waiting. Waiting for love. Waiting to take out. No, no, no. You can say, you know what? You do your thing. I'm going to do my thing. And... If I feel like I want you when you're ready, when you're done making me wait, we'll see if we take it from there. By then, who knows if I'm ready in another relationship and I feel really happy and content there. You know, like, don't wait, waste your time waiting forever for this person. All right, let's see. Pot number one. Oh, okay. Pot number one wants to, wants to come through for you, for you. What are your person's intentions? What are the next steps towards you? No, not the intentions. There's steps. What what steps are they going to take when it comes to you and them, their connection? The wishing well. Oh, more love. Okay, more cups. Page of cups. Being with you makes me feel like a kid again. You got king of cups, the big fat well of, of water. And you got the page of cups. And then you got the knight of wands again. Again. And then you got a hand with a big fat rock on, in the hand. And then you got the Ace of Cups. And you got the Clover. And I said this person wants to get lucky. I'm telling you. Then you got the Star. Then you got the Temperance. This is no joke, my friend. Okay? This is no joke. Then you got the Three of Wands. And we talked about waiting. Then we have the crown here for more royalty. All right. Forbidden Fruit. Maybe you're Forbidden Fruit. And they feel like they want, they want you, but they can't have you. Oh, my gosh. Wait till you see this crap. Crapoli. Wait, I'll just put it out. Let me see. Anything else want to come through? Oh, my stars. All right. All right. Any more? Okay, maybe that's where we go for. Oh, yeah, chariot. That makes sense. Okay, more coins. 
Oh my gosh. All right, that's when we need to stop. All right, get ready for the seven seconds of goodness, okay? So maybe you are forbidden fruits, and that's what makes them want you more. I don't know. Maybe you're taken. Maybe they're taken. Okay, crown. Wanted to own his royalty here. You got kings three times. Nope, there's more in here. Just wait. King of swords, king of cups, the crown right here, okay? This person wants to be the dominator, the emperor, the king. They want you to be their queen, or they want you to be their king, however this fits. Okay, let's, let's, let's dive in, and we're going to call this a reading. Knight of Wands is here twice, my friend. I will take you places you've, you've never been before. Knight of Wands. This is my Tower of My Heart deck. Flaming Hot Love deck. 53 Shades of Love deck. Uh, Red Hot Love deck. Um, Tower of My Heart deck. And everything else is linked below. Okay. Knight of Wands twice. They want to take action, but they need to know which direction to take. Yeah, escape. They want to go forward. Escape with the chariot. Just you wait. All right. You got the Ace of Cups. More water. You got the. You have the Knight of Cups. I'm sorry. The King of Cups. King of Cups. Ace of Cups. You have the Well here. There's a lot of passion for you. Okay. There is, and that's gonna be their drive to take action. They're waiting for that Well to 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 fill up. So this is the with this. So this is what fit. I'm sorry. So this is what love feels like. I'm so excited. Yeah. See, Ace of Cups, look at that. You drive them. You move them. Okay? You entice them with your charm, with your magic, with your your, your energy. Your, your talk, the way you talk, the way you think, the way you move, the way you, you look, the way you carry yourself, all that. Clover, I just said they want to get lucky. I, I'm not kidding. Sudden Wealth, Clover. Okay? The gift here. Gift here. Yeah, this is no joke. This person really wants to have it all with you, okay? You got, look, the hands, the stuff in the hands. Stuff in the hands, you see that? Okay? You have the star. The star is already here. And she's showing herself again. Again. She's saying, you are my wish come true. So they're going to do whatever they can to make this happen. Look at the star here twice. This is no joke. Okay. Then we have the temperance. And this is what I was saying with this... Justice and the star here. And then the two kings sandwiching all this energy. This is no joke, okay? This person is like, I want I want my I want to eat I want to have my cake and eat it too. I want balance. I want this, I want that with you. I want you to be there for me. I want to be there for you. I want us to be in harmony and balance and, and have everything work for us. And this person is gonna try their best to make this happen, to make this so. Everything in harmony, okay? So you got, but yeah. So anyway, temperance, that's exactly what I was saying. Temperance wanted to come out, okay? Then you have the three of wands. I'm not kidding around, my friend. We talked about the waiting game, and now it's here. The waiting game. Not the crying game, the waiting game. None, none of that crying business, nope. You don't cry for nobody. Crazy, sexy love. See, they want it all. They want the whole shebang with you. I just told you expectation three of wands but you also had the waiting tree do i have to refresh your memory or mine because i know i saw it yeah it's here see waiting for three shades of love tower of my heart and the kipper deck these are always for sale my my, my decks are always for sale etsy ebay and instagram if you're interested in incorporating them into your readings um so look waiting expectation and you got the three of wands for you i would wait forever Maybe that's how you're feeling. You're waiting for them forever, or they're waiting for you forever to make a decision, to make up your darn right mind. No, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just being funny. <clears throat> okay, you got the Knight of Cups. You got Knights three times. Now you got the Knight of Cups. And the Cups is already here. You got the Ace of Cups. You got the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands twice. Um, yeah, look at that. You got three Knights here to tell you, which is like three, three, waiting. Three, three. Look, three knights here, okay? But not only that, the, the knight of cups with all these cups, the knight of the cups, the page of cups, the king of cups, this is no joke, okay? This, 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 this dude or this dudette really has a lot of feelings for you. And they're conflicted. They're like, what the freak? What, how did I get to be in this situation? How is this, how is it? King of cups, page of cups, knight of cups, okay, friend? Oh, wait, oh, wait till you see what's in my hand. Yeah. Wait, all this royalty and you got the crown, right? Check this out. Wait a second. 
And you got all this royalty and richness, by the way. A lot of money, a lot of, um, yeah, money, wealth, coins, um, sovereignty, all that stuff, power, okay? So they might think that you are their power couple, I mean, their power person, where well, you guys are a power couple. Look, I'm not kidding, two king of cups are here. A lot of love. What's the message? You're my king, ruler of my heart, or I'm your king, ruler of your heart. You see what I'm saying? This is no joke. A lot, a lot of passion, a lot of love. It's not, it's not like, it's not like all intimate. It's like, yeah, you guys probably have a good sex life, but it's more like, you know, fireworks times infinity. Fireworks, 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 love, love, passion, charisma, not charisma, um, charm, like just wanting to be there for you, like be your ruler, be your king, be your, be your queen, whatever the case is. Then you got the queen. See? More queen. More king. So you had the king of swords, right? And now the queen of swords is here. So, like I said, behind... Uh, um, are you the ruler of my heart? Like, this person wants to be your your king or you their, you, you their king. King of swords, queen of swords. See? This is no joke. I love that I can tell you anything. No holding back. That's right. You guys can be so 100% with each other. So transparent. So honest. So mental. Then you got more mental stuff. What the freak? Oh, this is intense. Look at all this mental stuff. All this mental. All this mental stuff. And there's no three of swords here, okay? There's no heartbreak. So, yeah, I can see you guys going in the right direction. And then you got the chariot with the what? The escape card. Yep, yep, yep. And, and the knight of wands. The knight of wands wants to go somewhere, but give him a place to go. Say, we got to plug it into the GPS system. Okay, meet me here. This is what we're doing. This is where, where we're going. And where the freak are you? There you go. All this fire. Together we can get through anything. And then last but not least, more coins. I'm done. Five of coins. Coins. You got the wealth. You got the um, gift here. Alright, so my friend, I would say that things... Things are not going to be five of pentacles anymore. This is going to work in your favor. You're going to see more attention in your favor, in your in your region. Your in your 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 body is going to feel like it's being paid attention to. Your heart's going to feel like it's being paid attention to. Your mind, you know, your, maybe your coins. You guys building a business together, or this person buying you things. I don't know. I don't know. But this is going to improve big time. Okay, you're going to get so lucky. Look at that clover. Okay, you're going to be lucky in love, lucky in wealth. All right, friends, so thank you so much for watching. If you would like to uh, donate to the channel, if you happen to like this, this reading, this message, and all the decks that I used, um, check out the Super Thanks chat button or the Super Thanks button next to my subscribe button. It's like a tip jar. It helps uh, motivate me and keep me going. And um, I say thank you for your support, and I put your name. I shout you out in my comments, my community tab, to say thank you for your support. And I uh, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Part number two, you chose the geode here. Hello, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for choosing this. Let me know why you did so. If it's like a visual thing or intuitive thing or a number thing, let me know. So let's get into your message. Um, why? <coughs> why? No, what, what action is your person going to take towards you? What is their next step? How are they going to approach you or if they are and what are they going to bring to the table they're going to offer you love are they going to offer you friendship are they going to offer you more flirting or marriage who knows so upon to thank you for while i shuffle thank you so much for being here also if you would like to support this channel i do have a super thanks button next to my subscribe button it's like a donation um or a tip jar and yeah it just helps motivate me the energy exchanges is very motivating so i thank you so much and it keeps me producing more content so thank you so so very much okay part number two think of your person while i shuffle what part what are part number two's person's next steps towards you in love <clears throat> part number two what are your person's next steps towards you in love part number two what are your person's next steps towards you in love? Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, you got the first card here. Ooh, the temperance. 
All right. Pal 2, the Knight of Swords. Pal 3, I'm sorry, Pal 2. Pal 2, you're the Knight of Swords. You also got the Hanged Man, and you got the Fool card. All right. Um, pull one more card from the, the front or the back. The Sun. Okay, cool. Oh, great. Three majors. Great. All right, this person wants... Number one, this person wants... Um, to be very harmonious, be very in, you know, very in sync with you. This person wants to um, dance the same dance, walk the same walk, think the same thoughts. This person doesn't want to be in a stuck stance, st um, st stuck energy. That I feel like that's what they're feeling right now, but not for long. This person wants to. You know, meditate and think about what they want to do with you and how, you know, what, what they can envision their life to be with you, you know, for many, many years. And then they want to take action. They want a new beginning. They want spontaneity. They want to have fun. They want to br breathe life into this connection. Um, the Knight of Swords, yeah. Yeah, taking action for sure. Uh, following, following through with their plans, with their thoughts. Temperance, making it all work. How are we going to make this work? You know, and there can be distance, you know. Yeah, the fool with the knight of swords charging ahead, but they're, you know, they're, they're going really fast. Why? Because there's a lot of road, road ahead. Um, so I feel that this part, yeah, she looks like she's up in the clouds. The tree is so high, so you got a lot of uh, ground to cover. <laughs> she's up in the clouds, and the ground is far, far down below. Um, that's what I feel. And she's moving a lot away from her home. So I feel there is movement here. So it could be that this person is further away. Or, or maybe it's just that, phys, fi, not figure, uh, metaphorically speaking, there could be a lot of distance. Like maybe you guys just have busy schedules. Maybe you guys are living different lives. Whatever. And it clashes, you know. But this, this person doesn't want that. This person wants to be in sync. Like the ocean. They want to move with you. They, move, they want the ocean to move the sa in the same way. They want the boat to ride with the ocean, with the waves. Not against it, but with it. That's what I feel they want with you. Wow. All right, so now I'm going to get into... Um, clarifiers for this connection. Panama 2. Wow. So this... <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like this person wants to create a life with you. This person wants to see where... where what you can do together as a, as a couple. This person wants to share their ideas, their plans with you, you know, and they, they do think, they do think about the future. A lot of hanged men, yeah, hang, looking, thinking, um, getting those downloads, meditating, being present, you know, just sitting on, yeah, sitting on the tree, under the tree, being present in the here and now moment so that they know how to proceed in the future where this can go and they want to see where it can go where it can take them in the future so yeah this person's thinking about you so so much and you even got the sun here so you probably bring life into their into their, their light lights into their life you probably bring joy happiness you probably make them feel whole complete here and now present young again you got the sun right there the sun right here all right okay let's clarify please pond number two what are they wishing to do with you what are their next steps towards you, pawn number two? Disappearing act. Wow. See, I feel that's what I'm saying. They want to take action. They want to move. They want to go, go places. They want to ghost everybody else to be with you. Um, other people, for other people, you they might even... Wow, this is really weird. This person might even break break up with someone else just to be with you because you have divorce love, you have union. So how can you be, how can you be married and, and ma married and divorced at the same time? Because this person wants to separate from another person, ghost them, and commit to somebody else. Break from love. See, they want to break up with someone, and a fresh new start. See the bike here. No, there's no words here. That's because they haven't written that page yet, but they're thinking about how they should. They're in their head a lot, thinking how they can go about this. Wow, bicycle. All right, so, yeah, and it's under wraps. Can't buy me love, can't buy time. You have to just be patient. You got secrets here. So, um, secrets, can't, can't, you can't buy this person, or you can't persuade this person. Or you, maybe you're thinking, is money involved? Whatever. Money is not the, the 
predicaments here. Um, maybe you, you feel like if you buy them things that they would change their minds fast enough or maybe they feel they can buy your love, whatever. Um, that is coming up here. Or maybe you guys know each other in, a, in business form. I'm sorry, like you guys maybe work together. Maybe you guys have the same friends. Um, professionals here. Giving tree. So you're going to be able to give or this person's going to give something to you. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, I also feel that this person is needing to take time to reflect. So they might need a break from love in general. So they might need to take a little, yeah, breather, disappear a little bit, and uh, think some more. Wow, you have tree energy here, twice. Hanged man under the tree, you got the giving tree here. So this person is like, you know what? I don't. I'm not gonna take action just yet. Let me, let me, let me think about it. So you might need to wait a little bit. Um, taking a break under the tree, resting, stop thinking, thinking, thinking. And it could be that this can't buy me love. It can just be that they feel like they want to give to you, or provide for you, like King, Emperor, King of Pentacles energy. You know, maybe they, Earth. Yeah, they, maybe they wanna. Um, be the person who can provide for you, take care of you. And maybe they're working on that. And maybe that's what's taking them longer. This is my 53 Shades of Love, Red Hot Love. And my 50, my Flaming Hot Love is here too. So, <clears throat> so right now you don't know what's happening. There is a lid over it. There's a lot of fog here, clouds here. So you don't know just yet, but you will know soon, soon enough, what this person decides to do. Um... Now, for others of you, there might be a third-party situation that we're dealing with. And this person, or, you know, it could be something very light where, you know, they're interested in different people. Like I said in number one, there might be different, you know, different people here in the mix that they're maybe talking to. Doesn't mean that they're really cheating with or, or sleeping with them. But maybe they're just intrigued. Maybe they're on a dating app and they're getting all these messages coming through. And it can be like, oh crap, now I'm going to have to file those away and say goodbye to those in order to be able to provide and give to the person who's watching this video right now. How to. So you might see them ghosting or just uh, backpedaling, pedals, bicycle, backtracking, uh, quieting themselves, hiding themselves, ghosting themselves, yeah detaching themselves because they have decision important decisions to think about or to make so just give them some time if you want to not saying that oh my gosh if you no if you want to you don't have to hold your breath for no man no woman no no you don't have to hold your breath for nobody you don't have to stop your life for nobody you keep doing your life you keep on you you sit and gaze at the sun if you want to whatever you want to do but um this person is not going to tell you right away they need a little bit more time. But when they do have that, that moment, the aha moment, they're going to take action. This is the Knight of Swords here. They're going to they're gonna go and follow suit with their plans. Okay, pawn number two, tell me your, your person's actions. Pawn number two's energy only. Let's bring in this energy. Pawn number two, what are your person's actions towards you? Pawn number two, you got six of swords. I am leaving grudges behind and focusing on the future. Gosh, dog it. That's what I'm saying. So, um, that's interesting. So, we have the person in the boat. Did I say that here in this reading? I said that um, your person, I think I said it in this reading, that your person wants to be, yeah, with the harmony, the balance, yeah, temperaments. This person wants to be in the boat riding the same wave, not going against the, gra the grain or going against the, the current, the waves. They want to be with the boat, on the same boat with you, moving in the right direction, in the same direction. And now we have here the Six of Swords and the person's on the boat. So they want to be together in cahoots with you. I'm leaving grudges behind. So they can be leaving something behind, you know, on the horse moving towards you. On the, on the bicycle moving towards you. On the boat moving towards you. Okay, friend? So, and you, this is you waiting for that boat to come through. I'm leaving grudges behind. So they're, they're, they're leaving something behind in order to approach you. Wow. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, you have two of swords. You got a lot of swords here, a lot of thinking. I just said it. Hanged man, king of swords. I'm sorry, knight of swords, six of swords, 
two of swords. Can we call a truce and come to an agreement? See, they want to be, that isn't that what I said with the temperance? They want to be in harmony and balance with you. Walking the same walk, dancing the same dance, talking the same talk, riding the same boat with you. See? Agreeing to agree. Agree. No disagreements here. Feather. Okay. So you got clouds here twice, three times. So, um, and this cloudy disappearing act looks like cloud, clouds. The sun here, all cloudy stuff. So things are a little uncertain and foggy. And they're going with the divine, uh, divine's messages. They're going within. Hanged man with the feather here. And the giving tree. Wanting to give to you, but needing to think first how they want to give it, if they want to give it, how, when, feather. So they, they're going with the divine. Divine's timing, planning. They're listening to spirit. Listening to their intuition as well. You have three of swords. I'm sorry for the pain. I hope someday we'll be together again. So that's interesting because exactly what we were saying how there might be a third party situation, right? Uh, and it could be that they're talking with other people, like I said, or they're really in in it, in in it with two other people, engaging romantically, sexually with other people. And there is some kind of uh, three of swords energy. Yeah, it can be the fact that you know this, that you know that they're with someone else, or the fact that you know that this person, there's a chance that this person might not choose you or they will but it'll be a little bit later and you have to wait for it or it might be that they they end up choosing you after they give the this other person uh, a second chance you know like in other words they might choose to work on this relationship their relationship with their person before they choose you again and that can be a bitter pearl to swallow because you're like what the freak i'm not no second no second best you choose me first but maybe it's a co complex situation. It's not as simple as that, right? Maybe you're like, okay, fi figure out if you can work on it with your wife or your, your husband or your girlfriend, your, what, your boyfriend. Figure it out. And maybe maybe I'll wait. Maybe not. And then maybe they realize, okay, I gave it my best shot. I tried to make it work because I didn't want to just leave it as that. And now I realize that I can't be with that person. I want to be with you. Maybe. Or it can just be that they're realizing that they don't want to lose what they have with their current their first partner? No, because you could be the first one. I'm not sure. They don't want to... Maybe they don't want to lose that. And by engaging with you, they realize that they can lose what they have with someone else. So, Or maybe they have children or something like that. Because you do have the sun card. And maybe it's very, very complicated. So they can't just willing, willingly, 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 whatever that is, uh, just cut things off like all these swords are saying that they should. Yeah, it probably takes more, more, um, it, you know, it takes more thinking and more planning to be able to do that. Or more, uh, strength, more courage to do that. Or more resources, more money, maybe. The, 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 wow, my feelings for you, my feelings are still evolving. It could be that there's a situation with money. Or maybe, maybe that's why they can't just up and, up and go, you know? Maybe they're providing for someone already. Maybe they have children. Maybe they have a lot of bills, a mortgage, all that stuff. So they can't, they would risk a lot choosing you or choosing the other person. Look, I'm sorry, see? I'm sorry. So you got two sorries here. Pow, pow, pow. Two. What messages are on their heart? This is my painted love oracle mixed in with gift to souls, love on the brain oracles. If you're interested, they're for sale. Uh, I'll have it linked below. So I need you. I crave you. Too much is not enough. I feel like we've known each other in another lifetime. Or from another lifetime. Maybe you guys have some kind of past life energy here. Your kisses are electrifying. We aren't compatible. Wow. But that doesn't stop you guys from being together. So many times you stole my heart away. Why are you putting me through this pain? So you got pain twice. So it could be that you need to make the decision. The truth is not too far behind. So you will find out. I don't deserve you. I miss you. All right. So this person I feel is really conflicted. Or you are. I could be picking up on your energy and what you need to do to be with your person. It's probably the actions that you're needing to take or make. And I'm getting it from your person's perspective. Because we do have the hanged man. I'm seeing it from your perspective or their perspective. And that's why we're like, 
this is all like yeah flowing in different di directions because it's general and because I'm probably picking up on their energy and they're probably fe feeling the pain or maybe you are so um if you want something more personal I am gonna start doing extended readings so look out for that um if you want to stay up to date yeah, check out my description boxes or check out my com no my community tab. I always keep things up to date there. On my channel, the tab is like the third or fourth tab. Oh, you'll see the community tab and you'll see all the updates. We do voting polls. We do um, all my videos. Upload, I put them up there as well in case you miss it. So, yeah, keep up to date. You'll see when I start doing extended readings. Okay, friends? So, I thank you so much for your time. We're going to step into part number two's energy with what actions are the person's going to be taking and if you want to keep on going for it keep on watching go for it and don't forget all the decks that i used today will be linked below take care i'm v and let's close this out close this out with good energy hello friends you chose the purple amethyst hope you're doing well thank you so much for your time all right let's figure out what your person's next actions are towards you what they're planning to do are they planning to uh take this connection to the next level are they planning to ask you something flirt with you some more take a break what are they planning to do okay friends if you're new please subscribe and if you're interested in a personal reading to do them on my etsy and i do have all the decks links below and if you want to take this channel further i'm sorry take the support further i do have the super thanks button next to my subscribe button that's like a little t tip jar and um, it helps motivate me. It keeps the energy flowing and going and keeps me inspired. It makes me want to produce more. So if you're interested in that, check that out. It's really affordable. And I also say thank you. I put your name in my community tab to say thank you for your support. All right, so part number three, part number three's energy only. What are your person's actions, their next steps towards you and this connection and the relationship that you're in? Part number three. What are the next actions, the next steps towards you and this love connect your love connection part number three? Okay, first card here is serenity. They do want peace. And we're getting that all across all the all the piles. We're getting a lot of Temperance, <clears throat> balance, energy, hangsman, energy. Now you got peace here. Part number three, what are your person's next actions towards you? Next step, you have cleansing. Okay, part number three, what are your person's next actions towards you? And your connection, like for your connection. Communication, frick yeah, let's do that. Let's communicate. Yep, wellness. All right. So the first thing here is that they do want harmony. They want balance. They want tranquility. They don't want to fight. If you guys are, you know, um, arguing or just not on the same page or maybe not even talking. Oh, I'm getting that loud and clear. Serenity, cleansing, communication, wellness. I feel like there's a lack of communication here. Yes, there's no... Hold on, I'm going to pull these cards here. Um, I actually have a no contact deck coming out. I can't wait to use that. Man, that, that is really needed. There's no contact in here whatsoever. For, for I would say for half of you. The other part of you is that you guys are not communicating well. Wellness. You guys have some kind of communication going, but it's just very... Um, misinterpreting no <laughs> it's like stuck in translation like it's not coming across how you want it to be how you want it to be heard it's not very clear it's you know mix mixed signals ish if you know what i'm saying it's like okay what well, you're telling me this but your actions are telling me this or you're telling me this but then you're backtracking and um it's not it's contradicting what you're saying so which one is it so I feel this person wants to like, you know, start a fresh new slate, cleanse the energy and start fresh, start brand new. They want the energy to be very um, pleasing and very, um, this person wants growth in this connection and they can't have that if there is a little bit of fogginess or uncertainty or contradictions or, or truth that's just lingering 
uh, under the surface, but nobody's really saying the truth. Like, um, this person wants to squash all that, okay? This person's not ready to give up on you. So if you guys are not in contact, going back to what I first said, this first scenario, uh, this person wants to make amends with you. This person wants peace, civilization, no more fighting, no more back and forth silliness, no misunderstandings, no holding grudges, none of that. A dark-haired woman with a jealous nature, a dark woman full of vivacity, a bitter dark-haired woman, be careful, and a friendly dark woman, housewife. So that can be what your energy or their energy, this queen of spades coming through, um, wanting to squash the BS, communicate, tell it like it is, tell you the truth, or they're demanding the truth from you. Ace of Hearts, love in a small country house, a romantic mes message from a loved one at a home. See? Communication. Feasting and fun at home, a visit from a friend bring brings good luck. See? So come, so, see? Good luck. A visit from a friend, so communication. This person wants to visit you, uh, see you after so, after f so not having any contact. This person wants you to unblock them if that's what happens. This person wants you to get over whatever you feel for them. Um, or your person, you know, the, you do have this man card here. King of spades, queen of spades. Um, yeah, so you got two people here, two energies here, and they're not looking at each other at all. She's facing that direction, he's facing her direction, but there, there's no eye contact. So, um, your person's approach is that they want to come together. They want, it's kind of like they, they want to just call a truce and say, come on, let's, let's just, let's fix this. See a future proposal, so they want love with you. Six of hearts. Don't listen to the flattery of a female friend. You can have other temptations or other people coming in. A generous but gullible person or disposition. And don't believe everything that is told to you. So you can be listening to outside influences saying, don't go back to that. Why are you going back to that? Or maybe um, somebody's telling your person that. Or maybe that's their inner, um, inner you know, bird. The bird's telling them, you know, don't go back to this person because whatever. Um, and, you know, they should listen to their inner bird, right? They should listen to their intuition. Or maybe that's what you should do. Maybe you want to go back and, you, and your, into, your bird's telling you should. Or maybe it's telling you not to. Listen to your own inner calling, inner bird, because your, your intuition is always going to tell you what you need to do. Great success in your social life. A popular person with your friends. Eight of hearts. You got a lot of hearts here. Rejection of a lover's offer or advance love or very deep friendship and lots of friends and popularity so in other words this is saying that your person wants to reconcile but there could be other people in the mix as well trying to stop this or trying to prolong this or try, trying to tarnish this connection that you share with with the person in question wealthy and respectable position in society a party or visit to a place of amusement you got visit twice to so this person wants to be in your in energy. This person wants to come to see you. This person wants to make amends. Domestic bliss with a large family. Wow. So a lot of social gatherings here. So in other words, this person is tired of you ghosting them or tired of anti-social energy. They want to be very social with you. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a headache too. So headache, I'm getting a headache. Um, it could be that they're they have their their phone on all the time waiting that you, waiting for you to call or text or voice va FaceTime and that that headache could be coming from all the radiation that that's you know generating from their phone or their laptop uh, that's how I get when I'm by my phone a lot and I, and it's on or my laptop I get headaches because I can't deal with the radi radiation I'm just very very sensitive and that that's probably your person online all the time waiting for you to come through. Or you're waiting for them. And I'm telling you, you're going to receive your communication here. So let's see what these words say in the bottom. All right. So it says, the spirit of serenity brings a calmness to the connectivity of all that is. Wanted to connect. I told you. Cleansing. In energy, cleansing creates a healthy and harmonious space in, in which to thrive. And that's what I was getting with serenity. I was getting temperance, like coming in, in together, ba balance. Communication. Effective communication builds a deep grounded, I'm sorry, a deep bond grounded in common trust and understanding. See, there was a misunderstanding. This person wants to be on the same page again. Wellness. A healthy bond, body, mind, and spirit. 
and bonding experience because this person wants it to be very pleasant. This person doesn't want to argue. A healthy body, mind, and spirit and bonding experience, that's my two cents, thrive with a constant flow of balanced energy. That's what I'm saying. And the, and the temperance came out in all three piles now. So balance is of the essence. This person wants harmo harmony, union. Dahlia says, I know the path to serenity and the way to leave stress behind. If I focus on the here and now, I'll find my peace of mind. Wow, that's what this person wants or that's what you want. You're going to get it. The energy is going to be so brand new. You're going to be like, what? By what? Bygones? We had bygones. We had grudges. What? Let's let them be. Let bygones be bygones. Um, Daffodil says, I release all that limits me. May the waters of life set me free. The choppy waters. And, and bring in the calm waters, right? Poppy says, by earth's bounty and fire's flare, may communication be repaired. By air's clarity and water's surge, may the link to friendships connect and converge. That's what I'm saying here. All this social interaction here. So you can expect this person to, you know, be invited to a birthday party and you, you happen to be there and then you guys start chatting again. Or you can be expected to be invited to something that they're putting together. Um, all right. Wellness. Dandelion says, healing water, healing earth, let healing within me grow. Healing water, healing sky, usher back my healthy glow. This person wants to feel alive again. This person wants to be happy with you again. That's what I'm getting with this. All right, let's throw in some other energy. Some other cards. This is my jukebox love and text from the X deck. And part two coming soon from the crushes from the X. I'm sorry, text from the crush. Pound number two. Pound number two. I'm sorry, no. Pound number three, pound number three. Energy only. What's on their heart right now? Pound number three. They want to come together. They're tired of you silencing them or them silencing you or you guys, um, you know, disagreeing or holding grudges for so long. Or maybe you guys just had a falling out and there's no tension. It's just that you, there's just ghost, a lot of ghosting. There's no tension. It's just that it's very quiet. This person wants to overcome that. Doesn't want quietness. Uh, you have a lot of social stuff here happening. They want to talk. Talk, talk, talk. Communicate. Yes. Okay. Pound number three. What does this person want to tell you if they could? If they can tell you. What do they want to tell you? Non-ordinary love. We, wow. We are incomparable. This connection is incomparable. You can't compare it to anything else. This is very special. Special here. Rare. That's why they can't get you off their mind. That's why they have to talk with you. See what could be. Pound number three. Pound number three. I miss you every day. This is really uh, deep here. All you know, mind you, yeah, yeah, yeah. All all this water, right? Talk about water. Now you got all these hearts. Ace of hearts, ten of hearts, six of hearts, eight of hearts. A lot of love here. Let's see what's at the bottom. You'll always have my heart. I'm telling you. Talk about all these hearts, and it's here again. A lot of passion. What, what would they like to tell you if they could? All the decks are for sale if you're interested. We have 24 now. I matured so much. Let me show you. I've been thinking about you, obviously. I see your truth, authenticity. You know what? This is like saying I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the truth. What happens between us? What I wish I could tell you. What I wish I could have told you a long time ago. What I wish I could have said, what I wish I could have done, what I wish you could have done, I w what I wish this, well, what I wish this connection would have turned into, the truth would be told. I'm telling you, don't speak, no doubt. That's what I'm saying. I want to sex you up. Don't forget about me. I'm crying inside. Letting go was so painful. I can't stop thinking about you. Don't you forget about me. It came out again. I'll never find another love like you. How do we live without each other? Okay, your jealousy smothered me. If that was even a situation, I was I was selfish. You were not my priority. You know, a lot of immature energy, perhaps, or a lot of shadows coming in. But let me tell you something first. Let me tell you what is here twice. <sighs> okay, don't speak. I w I'm not gonna over what's it called? Yeah, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't trying to talk over this or undermine this card. 
Don't speak. That's exactly what's happening. There's no contact. I just said that 20 minutes ago or 13 minutes ago. This energy is very still, very quiet. Like the tranquility or the, the ser serene th waters here. Serene. Very serene. Very relaxed. Very non-confrontational. No speaking. That's not going to be like that forever. This person is going to be like, you know what? I'm tired of being quiet. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of not hearing from you. I'm tired of not speaking to you. I'm tired. Let's do this. I want truth. I want to give you the truth. I can't stop thinking. Oh my gosh. How do I live without you, right? Right? Don't forget about me twice. Don't forget about me twice. And that's probably how you both are feeling. And the reason why I have two cards is because this is my first edition. This is the second one. I no longer sell the first one. Although, if you want it, I can still send it to you. But this one's on Etsy. Um, anyway, this is what I'm saying. This person is on your mind. You're on their mind. See? And they can't forget about you. Absolutely not. How can they live without you? You're always going to be their number one. They're always going to have uh, their hearts. See? You will always have my heart. I want to be romantic with you, too. I matured so much, let me show you. I'm crying inside and keeping it because I can't tell you because you won't talk to me. Or I won't talk to you. You won't tell me how you're feeling. I won't tell you how I'm feeling. Whatever. I've been thinking about you. What the freak? What the freak? What the freak? Look at that. I can't stop thinking about you twice. Okay? And this is insane. Letting go was so painful. All right. Let me... Wow. This is really emotional. I didn't expect it for it to be this deep. Okay, let's add more loving words, or, I'm sorry, more love messages. I guess I did expect it to be this deep, because you got all these hearts here. They want to heal. They want peace. You know, even if it's just as friends, if that's what you're willing to take, that's it. If that's what you want, and that's all that you can give this person, then that's all, that's all that they'll, they'll take from you, if that's what you want to give them. But if, you, if they're wanting more, more than friends, or they're just wanting to be friends, and you're like, I don't know... It's up to you. It's up to you. So if you want something more personal, I do have personal readings. I'm also going to be incorporating extended extended readings, which is like in between a personal reading and a private reading, but for an affordable price. I'm going to be incorporating that into my channel very soon. All right. Pile number three. What other messages want to come through from your person to you? Sex is a plus. Wow. Wow. Yep. They missed those m moments with you. Where you felt so connected. You felt whole. You felt 100%. You felt one. Two became one. Okay? This is crazy. Oh, sorry. This is Love on the Brain by the lovely Gifted Soul 777. She also has a pick a card channel. At Etsy shop. She's amazing. She's one of my good friends. My soul sisters. So um, her link is going to be down below. Underneath the deck. Now I'm left with just the memory. Wow. Of what was, what was, of how things were left, and they don't. It, does, it doesn't sit right with them how things were left between you both. It's a harsh memory. This is my painted love oracle. I love shuffling it with love on the brain. All right, let's see. What message you want to come through? I didn't mean to take my anger out on you. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, needing to mature, right? So something went down. Whether they were jealous or you were jealous. A lot of shadows were coming in. A lot of outside influences were probably coming in. Who knows? What message do you want to come through from your person? I want it all with you. You're my everything. Finish what you started. Yeah, you guys had something. And now it's left in the ether, just sitting there. They want to come back. They want to finish what they started with you. You're my queen. You're my king. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yes. If you want marriage, yes, I'm ready now. If you want friendship, I'm ready now. Or, yes, you want what I want. Yes, you want what I want. Yes, yes, I choose you. Yes, you chose me. Yes, we're talking again. Yes, there's someone else. Wow, that's probably what this was about. Maybe outside influences. I said that like 10 million times. Outside opinions, outside people taking you guys apart. Trust issues. Yeah, a lot of shadows coming in. Matured, jealousy, trust issues now. We are meant to be. 
your kisses are electrifying and I'm sorry okay so that's what I have for you um, closing this out let me know if this resonates or not like I said I have personal readings and I'm going to be doing extended readings check out my community tabs to, to see all the updates here on this channel and I'll see you in the next one thank you so much for your time closing this out I wish you luck and I hope that you can work this out with your person whether you're on a friendship basis or um, at least being civilized so that if you have the same friends it's not awkward or if you have children you guys can be civilized to better raise them or to better be be you know in each other's lives in a productive and 